Hello, my name is Roger Muller. This presentation is being given at the SAS Global Forum 2013 in San Francisco, California. It is entitled SAS Enterprise Guide, What's in it for the long-term, highly experienced SAS programmer. If you ask these people, why should, should I, with all my experience, learn EG, they're gonna be all over the place. Absolutely not, maybe, on the fence, probably. Some, a lot of yeses out there when I can get to it. And then there's the definitely yes is the early innovators. It all depends on you and your organization. What are the cultures? The goal of this presentation is to move you towards yes. The long-term SAS programmer, very traditionally file-based, using an editor to put things in .sas files or a coder. Started on the mainframe or Unix, may or may not be in the Windows PC environment. Often not totally open to new ways of doing things. If the old way's working and it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not enchanted by terms like guide, drag and drop, visual, point and click. These things were all made for people who don't know how to write code. Yeah. This person, however, is usually regarded as very productive by both themselves and their peers in what they accomplish. The organization you're working for, what's the culture and where does SAS fit? If the old way is fine and it's not broken, don't fix it. Maybe you shouldn't get into it. If, on the other hand, if anything that improves bottom line is encouraged and is fine, you know, they encourage improvement. Reward to innovators versus indifference. Is it going to be a case if you're an innovator that you're regarded as a techie who's playing with toys again? Maybe you need to be careful on that. Or is there sort of an indifference? You do what you need to do to get the job done. Programming standards, enterprise guide makes SAS code, so it is essential. It's not essential that EG be an adapted standard. You know, if you've got PC SAS out there, you're going to have enterprise guide licensed into your organization. You can make those project files and export all the code out, and uh, it's not critical that this be part of the, you know, the ex standard way you must do it. This presentation is not a how-to, it just emphasizes a workflow that will make you faster, easier, and smarter. It'll show you 16 ways that Enterprise Guide provides value to the experienced programmer and will make reference to the 17th benefit, drag and drop programming. How can you ask for more? Most important benefits of using EG really are data quality and programming efforts are going to be improved when the programmer interactively works with the data sets, the reporting steps, etc. in a flowchart environment. Errors should be more visible and the programmer should gain a better understanding of business processes of the underlying data. Bottom line, a better finished product at lower cost. With that, let's get to work. On this screen, I've opened SAS Enterprise Guide. Wonderful welcome window to welcome you into it. Notice the most recent projects you've been worked on here, plus more projects. Extremely useful. A lot of people tend to think this type of screen is not that great. Boy, it's wonderful because in EG, you tend to have very few projects with a lot of code within them. So it helps you keep it organized. If you need to start out something new, there you do it. There's assistance partially hidden away. Um, there's a wonderful tutorial here. I always insist on I take this at least every couple of months and pick up on some little things that I haven't been using that I think will be of more value. Don't check the box. Okay, let's go look at paper 274. The interface at first can seem a little bit intimidating. It's visual, but really it's quite familiar if you stop and think about it. I have split this workspace window into two areas. One is uh, the the program flow area, which is sort of the, the, the drag and drop drop piece, if you will. But let's look at these programs up here. Within the project tree, we've got a SAS program. If we were to look at that over here on the right-hand side, we would see that's some very simple SAS code. Notice we have some context-sensitive help, and uh, that shows up to help us do that programming. We can turn that on or off if we don't want it. It's right there at your fingertips. Once we have run this, and indeed I have run this program already, a log is produced. Output data sets, your work data sets are produced, there's some results. If we were to look over in the process flow for this, you would see there's that program, it was run, it produced two SAS data sets, it produced a couple of uh, three or four different kinds of output here. In fact, one of the advantages of SAS Enterprise Guide is it's very easy to generate multiple output types. To do that, all we have to do is go to Tools, options and indeed this is the only option I hardly ever use in this 
in this a wonderful great facility with the hundreds of things available results general there we can click on we want SAS reports we want text output we want PDF we want HTML we want RTF or we don't want them all okay with that I think you've seen that we have the makings of something that you're very used to using day in and day out the only difference being is this wonderful program flow process flow facility now existing code can be brought in or you can make new code here indeed when I went into this very simple program that I did make here in Enterprise Guide but I could have made it outside and brought it in be historically I went through this analyze program analyze for program flow to make a much richer flow chart automatically then uh, is available here when I just ran it as a given program this feature is new to SAS Enterprise Guide 4.3 and of course to 5.1 that we're in this Roger one program flow analyzed is indeed that particular uh, program that's been flowed out and again very simple we have uh, now we have the data steps showing up the procs being run etc more detailed first advantage we've really stressed here in the SAS Enterprise Guide environment is a benefit for the long-term programmer is the familiarity of what they've already done second being the visualization the third thing I want to bring to you is that everything is stored in an Enterprise Guide project file and indeed we can save that project file uh, out under different names etc by that I mean embedded SAS code is in this the actual flows themselves some of the output information notes comments etc so what traditionally uh, this can take some of the traditional functions of what file folders might have done for you and keep things very much containerized a definite advantage beware however backup has never been more critical you can work for days in a stable system with enterprise guide on a project and if you're not backing that project up you could have some major problems if the SAS code is embedded in the project even worse if it's external to the project remember you have to back that up on your own also so do get your backup house in order as you always should be doing regardless of what environment you're in let's take a minute to talk about selectively running code in the batch mainframe type environment you a lot of times have to comment out code to not run specific parts of it well you've got some wonderful facilities here first of all we could by looking at the run option up here run the entire project everything that's in this project tree multiple process flows etc if however we just wanted to run this branch called Roger one that is showing right here we could do that within a branch let's get a more complicated uh, program up here if I wanted to go down and run only this branch branch being defined as a group of nodes in a row here I could highlight them and run them if I want to go over into the code window I could literally hit run over here and it would run all of the code or what if I wanted to highlight only a part of it hit the right mouse button I could run the selection on local so there must be at least six five or six different ways of running things that I covered none of them involved tricks with comments extremely useful this program editor with the assorted options in it is one of the best available in SAS uh, you know we've seen a few of those options here with the uh, contact sensitive help we uh, have not seen auto completion it's in there uh, ability to stick in line numbers collapsing code there are macros keyboards etc a lot of things can be learned in the editor obviously every editor out there has some things they do better than others this is an excellent editor I want to make a comment on documentation you traditionally have only had comments as a way to make documentation if you want to put a note onto a process flow or any place in here you have the capability of doing it let's look at that note 
right there on this process, Roger One Program Flow Analyzed, I inserted a note. This process flow was created, et cetera, et cetera, and here's a note to another programmer. Can be used for many, many different things. It does not become part of the SAS code that you are developing. It's just part of the process flow. As mentioned previously, an advantage is all of the different output types that you can have, all at the click of a button and turning things on and off in the options. And if you don't want to consolidate all these, consolidation is a separate operator. You can have these available. If you don't want to do anything with them as far as a consolidated report is concerned, uh, you can just use them as individual elements. Outputting to Microsoft Office is possible in a number of different ways. I won't go through the process here, but basically click on a data step or click on a report. Uh, let's just do a, this simple listing here for an idea of how to get started. Right mouse, send to Microsoft Word very good integration with the facilities we've got available here and if you should have the Microsoft add-ins for Office the SAS add-ins for Microsoft Office you have even more flexibilities that are easier to use I don't want to get into an extensive use of drag and drop I sort of hinted I might not do that but let's go and do a um, a little bit of a query on an existing data set. Forgive me for taking you into a server to get a work.data set. That's real handy. We'll just look at the local server, sashelp.cars will show up there. I'm going to do just a short query on that to show you how wonderful this is for developing SQL code. Here's SAS help. Let's arrow down to the cars data set. There it's opened. That's fine. We'll close it. I've got it here on process flow one analyzed because that's what I was working on when I got started on this. And all I want to do is a simple query on it. Let's go back over here to the task list. There are around 90 of these different tasks. Let's just take query builder, drag it on there, makes of cars. Let's select distinct rows only. Let's run it and we're going to get a data set that's going to come up with there's the makes of cars. If we want to look at the code that actually was developed behind the scenes, there's some SQL code. Now this obviously was very simple and remember that all code that's generated in the EG environment can be taken back out to the regular SAS environment for you being used in production. That's going to be the end of the discussion on drag and drop. Have to tease you a little should make a comment on training needs for EG. They are minimal. The tutorial isn't bad. If you want to have a corporate program or a tutorship program, the existing programmer can be brought up to speed very fast. There's getting to be some good things out on, uh, on the YouTube uh, and also from SAS Institute's websites on doing some of this. You know, the real benefit of all of this is certainly that you interactively in this flowchart environment and let's uh, close this query builder. As you work through this, you're certainly going to see how easy it is to come in and look for some specific element and peek at it. See if you understand the business processes. Is something wrong here? Do I have duplicate values? What's going on? Many, many different ways to do all of those, do those kinds of things. Another option for those of you who are working in a richer environment, you're not standalone anymore, but rather a whole bunch of people are using Enterprise Guide. You can create what's called stored processes. File, new, stored processes. I'm not going to go into this farther, but it's a distinct advantage if you're sharing a lot of code. What that is, it's a facility to put macros in, check them out, check them in, version control, security, etc. Definitely a place that the experienced programmer will find beneficial as their organization gets larger. Well, looking at my cheat list here, I guess the last advantage I would stick on here, the 17th one, is this drag and drop stuff is pretty neat. Don't feel like you have to use it right away. 
Don't feel like you're bound to use it. You can forget it's there. And then all of a sudden, when you start exploring, you're going to say, you know, I didn't know how to code all of that. I didn't know how to make a donut chart. Yes, I could have gotten the book out. Yes, I could have Googled a lot of things. But, you know, I can just stick a data set up there, draw the donut, pull a donut chart over there, and off we go. Well, that wraps up the presentation. I hope you, the experienced programmer, see things here that will really enhance your day-to-day -day efforts and the fact that you know how to program is great but there's stuff here that because you know how to program you will use eg even better than a drag and drop user who knows nothing else my name is roger muller please look at the uh, publications that are listed in the in the document also monitor the youtube website with things i'm putting out there from time to time with that have a good experience with Enterprise Guide.